This is an update to the rubber sheet tutorial. There's a couple of things that I should have shown before that I didn't. Um, first, before I started, I went and I put several fiducials at intersections because they're easy to find. And then uh, I can match those up neatly between the map that I import and the map that I have for underlying imagery. So here's the map that I'm going to import that I've now cropped. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. I'm going to choose rubber sheets, imports, green lakes. Okay, now I'm going to uh, edit that. Turn it 90 degrees. And try to get it about the right length. And height. Move that down here. Now I'm, of course, going to make it semi transparent and rough it in with the lake. So that's about as close there. Right now, dismiss that because we don't need it and zoom in. Now let's look at that first fiducial. That's uh, pretty close. And I can also use these, the trail that I imported from a KML from a previous trip. So it's very close. And down here, we can see here that it's off. It has to be pulled this way a little bit. Um, so... There, pull it the other way, and now pull down. You see that matches up quite nicely. There. Now let's go back and check the, the other side and see how well that looks. Let me check that fiducial. That looks good. Okay, so now we have our map neatly in, and we could... Uh, Excuse me. We could zoom in if we want and look at uh, different pieces of it. You see, that's right on. Okay. So now, this is a little counterintuitive. I'm going to go into Layer Manager, and I'm going to choose Rubber Sheets. And I'm going to click this button twice, which will export it. There we go. All right. And so now I've exported that rubber sheet as a KML. Now I'll import it as a the the KMZ as a GRG so that it's permanent and not a temporary thing. And of course I can do the same things except now I can't edit it. I can only turn it on and off. So now, I still have the rubber sheet there, but now I can get rid of the rubber sheet altogether. Okay, so that is a much more practical way to do your, uh, to import a photo, to get it as a KMZ very quickly. This is probably the best uh, KMZ importer there is now. All right, have a great day.